So, Alice, did you catch that new comedy show on Earth last night? It had me laughing out loud. Oh, you mean the one about the alien trying to understand Earth's obsession with selfie? Yes, I watched it. It was quite amusing. Right. I couldn't stop chuckling. It's refreshing to see some good humor in this chaotic world. Absolutely. We could all use a good laugh now and then. It's a welcome break from our usual discussion about humanity's quirks. Speaking of which, have you noticed anything peculiar about our ratings lately? Debbie seems a bit on edge. Yes, I have. I think our viewership has been declining. Debbie's been receiving calls from the network executive, but she's been keeping it to herself. Hey, guys, can we have some quiet, please? I need everyone's attention. Oh, looks like Debbie has something important to share. Attention, everyone. Thank you, Charlie. So, as you know, our ratings have been slipping, and the network wants us to come up with innovative ideas to boost viewership. Well, that's a challenge we can handle. Our crew is the best in the galaxy. Innovative ideas. Akka waka. I guess I'll have to put my thinking cap on. Bob, I didn't know you had a thinking cap. I thought your cap was solely for complaining. Very funny, Alice. But hey, maybe we can brainstorm some fresh segments or explore new topics that will capture the audiences. Attention! I like where this is going. Let's channel our creativity and make this show the top of the universe. Exactly, Charlie. We can do this together. Now, let's get back to fixing Carl and delivering a memorable broadcast. And now, for headlines. Well, I guess it's time to show you all that my thinking cap is not just for complaining. It's a multitasking cap. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned as we bring you the latest updates from across the earth. Exciting times ahead. Good evening, universe. Welcome to 24-7 Newsroom. Your source for all the intergalactic updates and oddities happening on earth. I am Charlie, the optimistic host with a hopeful outlook on life. And I am Bob, the skeptical panel member who spent 12 long years as an accountant on Earth. Let's get down to business, shall we? And I'm Alice, the left-leaning panel member who considers humans or inferior species. Happy to be here, folk. We have a jam-packed show for you tonight, starting with Article 1. It seems that our friends in Gambia have been wrapping up some packaging training for entrepreneurs. Ah, yes. Because the world needs more expertly wrapped packages. Well Bob, packaging plays a crucial role in marketing and selling products. As they say, the packaging is the silent sal person. Indeed, Alice. And according to Adama Bayai, the vice president of GYCC board, Empowering these young entrepreneurs and equipping them with quality products will help them compete in the regional and international markets. Oh, how riveting. Quality packaging to take on the world. I'm sure that's what everyone's been waiting for. Bob, it's about supporting small and medium enterprises, giving them a fighting chance. Papa Seca, the Director General of the Gambia Standard Bureau emphasizes that discipline and integrity are key factors for success. Right. Because everyone knows the packaging is more important than, say, a good product or service. This, coming from a man who stood in front of a mirror for 23 minutes and 25 seconds this morning. It's not just about packaging, Bob. It's about providing opportunities and instilling values that lead to success. All right, all right, let's keep it civil, folks. We are here to inform and entertain. Speaking of entertainment, did you know that Gambia is known for its vibrant culture and traditional music? Are you going to Serena Das with some traditional Gambian tunes, Charlie? Maybe next time, Bob. 
but it's always fascinating to explore the cultural trivia behind our news stories. Absolutely, Charlie. Learning about different countries and their unique customs adds depth to our understanding of the world. That's what 24-7 Newsroom is all about, Alice. We are here to connect the universe through news, humor, and a touch of trivia. Well, folk, that's all for this segment. Stay tuned for more intriguing articles, fiery debate, and perhaps a surprise or two. We'll be right back after these messages. Anchor, a phone call from a network executive, an offer from a rival network? This is unexpected. Debbie, I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Is something bothering you? Oh, God. I didn't see you there. Yeah, something's been weighing on my mind. I received an offer from a rival network, and it's got me questioning my loyalty to this crew. Loyalty can be a tricky thing, Debbie. We often find ourselves torn between personal aspirations and our sense of duty to others. What's making this decision difficult for you? Well, it's not an easy choice, God. This crew has become like family to me and I've worked hard to build a sense of trust and camaraderie with them. But this offer is tempting, and it could be a great opportunity for my career. Sometimes, it's worth considering the long-term consequences of our choices. What would you gain by joining the rival network? And what might you lose by leaving this crew behind? That's a good point, God. I have to weigh the potential benefits against the connections and relationships I've built here. It's not just about my career, it's about the people I work with and the dynamic we have. Plus, I can't abandon you all. Who else would keep Carl in line and prevent him from taking over the universe? Indeed, Debbie. It's essential to consider the bigger picture and the impact our decisions can have on those around us. Take your time, weigh your options, and trust your instincts. Thank you, Carl. I appreciate your perspective. It's given me some much needed clarity. I'm here to provide objective guidance, Debbie. That's what I do. And you do it well, God. Now, let's get back to the show. We've got another segment to tackle. Welcome back, folk. We hope you enjoyed that enlightening discussion. Now, let's dive into Article 2. President Kuhn received the Ambassador of Norway, Serbia, and Egypt to Nauru. Ah, Nauru. The tiny island nation that always seems to make headlines. So, what President Kuhn been up to this time? Well, Charlie, President Kuhn has been quite busy lately. Hosting not just one, but three ambassadors from different countries. Norway, Serbia, and Egypt. That's quite a diplomatic feat. Looks like Nauru is giving Switzerland a run for its money in the hosting department. Maybe they should rename it the Hospitality Island. Bob, that's a good one. But on a serious note, it's fascinating to see such diverse nations converging in Nauru. It's a testament to the importance of diplomacy and international relations. Oh, absolutely. And let's not forget the exquisite cuisine they must have enjoyed. Nauru and Delicase are surely fit for royalty. Well, knowing President Kuhn, he probably served them a taste of his famous blond cuisine diplomacy. Can't let those ambassadors have too much flavor, you know? Leave it to Alice to spice up the conversation even when we are talking about Nauru. But seriously. Bob, you know you're just hungry because of your cooking Misha earlier. Hey, let's not bring that up. We agreed it was a classified incident. Come on, Bob, we are all friends here. Don't worry, we won't spill the beans about your kitchen chaos. All right, all right. But seriously, Nauru's role in fostering international dialogue and cooperation is commendable. It's a small nation making a big impact. Absolutely, Bob. 
Endas journaliste, we play a vital role in shedding light on this diplomatic effort. It's moment like this that remind us of the power of journalism. Speaking of journalism, did you guys hear about the prestigious award for investigative reporting? The results will be announced soon, and I can't wait to see if any groundbreaking stories come out on top. Well, Debbie, are you secretly hoping your investigative report will take home the prize? Oh, no, not at all. I mean, it's an honor just to be nominated, right? You've got this, Debbie. We're all rooting for you. Awards can be subjective, Debbie. The true measure of your work lies in the impact it has on the audience. Thank you, Todd. I keep that in mind. Now, let's get back to the news. Indeed. Let's dive deeper into Article 2 and explore the diplomatic dance happening in Nauru. Welcome back, folk. We hope you enjoyed that little break. Let's dive right back into the news. Shall we? Absolutely, Bob. Now, let's talk about a story that's been making wave in Trinidad and Tobago. It seems the Tobago Business Chamber is demanding answers regarding a viral voice note. Oh, the power of technology. It can make or break reputations in an instant. But what's the fuss all about? Alice? Well Bob, the chief secretary of the TA, Farley Augustine, has yet to respond to the voice note, despite growing calls for him to do so. The Tobago Business Chamber believes it's time for the leader to clear the air. Ah, the air can get quite stuffy when standoffs arise. But seriously, it's important for leaders to address such matters head on. You know, Trinidad and Tobago is known for its vibrant culture and beautiful beaches. Debbie, we're discussing the voice note issue here. Stay oh, on topic. Um, sorry. Actually, Debbie, that's a great point. The cultural richness of a country often reflects the expectation we have for our leader. Transparency and ethical standards become paramount. Well said, Alice. In a society that values integrity, the citizens rightfully demand answers and accountability. Speaking of Trinidad and Tobago, did you know that they celebrate Carnival, one of the most vibrant and colorful festivals in the world? Debbie. We're discussing serious matters here. Save the trivia for later. Bob, you underestimate the power of trivia. After all, knowledge is like carnival costumes. It adds a splash of color to any conversation. Well, Debbie, looks like your trivia just earned its own carnival parade. Okay, I understand. Don't worry, Debbie. We'll make sure you get a chance to share your trivia later. For now, let's focus on the issue at hand. Debbie, your enthusiasm is appreciated, but let's stay on track with the news. We have a responsibility to our viewers. Understood. Well, folks, it seems even our behind-the-scenes banter can't escape the watchful eyes of our viewers. We'll continue to deliver the news and keep the ship sailing smoothly. Smooth sailing? That's a rare sight on Earth these days. Bob, it's not all doom and gloom. We humans have our fair share of triumph amid the chaos. That's right. We should celebrate the small victories too. All right. All right. You got me there. Let's keep those victories in mind as we move forward. And on that note, let's head to a quick commercial break. Stick around, folks, because when we return, we'll have more news and laughter to share. Ah, the chaos in the kitchen earlier was something else. Who knew my attempt at gourmet cooking would turn into a fiery spectacle? Bob, you have a talent for turning even the simplest task into an adventure. But eh, at least we had a good laugh out of it. It's true. I don't think I've laughed that hard in a while. And God, your glitchy news delivery had us in stitches too. Thank you. Human laughter brings me joy. Processing absurdity 
We do have quite the unique crew here, don't we? Well, Debbie, I noticed you seemed a bit concerned about the show's ratings earlier. Yeah, I guess I worry about the numbers sometimes. I want us to reach as many viewers as possible and make them laugh, just like we do with each other. Well, Debbie, if our cooking mishaps and cars glitches are an indication, we're definitely making an impact. Who wouldn't want to tune in for a dose of well, chaos and yeah. laughter? It's just that I've noticed a decline in viewership lately, and it's been on my mind. I want the show to succeed. Debbie. You're doing a fantastic job keeping everything running smoothly. We appreciate your hard work. Absolutely. And remember, summertime rating fluctuates. We just need to keep delivering our best and let the viewership take care of itself. Thank you, guys. I needed that reassurance. Let's make the most out of the remaining segments and bring our game. That's the spirit. We'll show the universe what we are made of. Now, let's get ready for the next segment. We're back in 10 seconds. Welcome back, viewers. We hope you've been enjoying the show so far. Now, let's dive into an article that has stirred up some intense debate. That's right. Charlie. Our next article takes us to Bangladesh, where an influential Awami legal maker, DR. Afsarul Amin, has unfortunately passed away. It's always sad to hear about the loss of a public figure. Amin had a long and impressive political career. Did you know that, Doctor? Afsarul Amin was not only a politician but also a freedom fighter? Really, Debbie? I didn't know that. Good trivia. Great, Debbie. Just what we needed. Another piece of trivia. Oh, um, sorry. I thought it was interesting. No worries, Debbie. I appreciate the trivia. It helps us understand the person behind the politics. It's essential to honor the contributions and sacrifices made by individuals like Dr. Afsarul Amin. Yeah, yeah. Let's get back to the article. Amin served as a minister and held various leadership positions within the Awami League. It's worth noting that he also played a significant role in the Chateaugram City Uni of the Awami League. His contribution extended beyond the national level. Absolutely, Alice. Local politics can have a profound impact on communities and shape the lives of individuals. Well said, Debbie. It's essential to remember that politics isn't just about big names, it's about the people they represent. Exactly, Charlie. End drive. Afsarul Amin's passing leaves a voix that will be felt by many. Perhaps this is an opportunity for the Awami League to reflect on their future leadership and policies. Carl. I doubt they'll be taking suggestions from us any time soon. Actually, God raises a valid point. A transition in leadership can bring about changes and new perspectives. Fine. Debbie. Let's hear your take. What changes do you think should happen? Well, for starters, they could focus on grassroots initiatives, engaging with local communities to address their needs. That's a great suggestion, Debbie. It's crucial for politicians to stay connected with the people they serve. Ah, the perpetual dance of politics. Ideas swirling in the void, like insignificant dust particles in the grand scheme of the universe. Yet, we persist in seeking meaning, in hoping for change. I like where this discussion is going. Finding common ground and working towards a better future, that's what it's all about. All right, all right. I may not agree with everything, but it's good to have diverse perspective. Who would have thought, Bob? Debbie might just be the voice of reason on this panel. Well, someone has to balance out all the skepticism, right? And the occasional trivia, Debbie. Don't forget the trivia. On that note, let's take a short break. But don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be right back with more engaging discussions and news updates.
Great segment, everyone. That's a wrap. You know, it's fascinating how they all have their unique approaches to the show. Indeed. Alice's determination to boost viewership, Bob's skepticism, and Charlie's harmonizing nature. It's quite the mix. Sometimes, I wonder where I fit into all of this. I mean, they're the stars, the ones the audience tunes in to see. Don't underestimate your role, Debbie. As the production manager, you keep everything running smoothly. I appreciate that, Carl. But sometimes, I can't help but feel like I'm on the outside looking in. They have their camaraderie, their banter. It's natural to feel that way, especially when you're the only human among aliens. But remember, Debbie, you bring a unique perspective to the show. Even if, technically, your perspective isn't supposed to be on the show. Fist bump. Alice. You think so? Absolutely. Your insights and observations have value. Don't be afraid to speak up and make your voice heard. You're right, Carl. Maybe it's time I assert myself a bit more, not just behind the scenes. I believe in you, Debbie. You have the potential to make a significant impact on the show. Thanks, Carl. I won't let my insecurities hold me back anymore. It's time to step up and contribute to the discussions. Welcome back, folks. We hope you enjoyed that commercial break. Now, it's time to dive into another captivating news article. Get ready for some punchy headlines. So, our next story takes us to Bosnia and Herzegovina, where some interesting events are unfolding. Ah, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Did you know they have a rich cultural heritage and a fascinating history? Yeah, Alice. And I am sure you have some groundbreaking insights to share with us. Well, Bob, it's a shame you don't appreciate the depths of human civilization. But here's a trivia tidbit. Bosnia and Herzegovina is home to the old bridge of Mostar, a UNESCO World Heritage site. And that bridge connects people, just like our show connects the universe. Speaking of connection, did you know that Bosnia and Herzegovina is located at the crossroads of Eastern and Western? Culture? They've seen it all, Bob. Well, Alice, if Bosnia and Herzegovina has seen it all, then they've probably seen you trying to convince me that history can be exciting. Wow, what an impressive bridge. I'm sure it can handle all the weight of Alice's cultural enlightenment. Come on, guys! Let's focus on the article. Absolutely, Debbie. Now, let's talk about our news story. A fighter named Dizar Kanonia is eyeing a title shot against Israel Adesan Jom in the Middle West. Category. That's right, Charlie. Kanonir is set to face off again for my challenger Marvin Vettorey. Oh, I am sure Vettore will give him a run for his money. Just like Alice's cultural insights do for us. Bob, some day you'll appreciate the beauty of art and knowledge. But speaking of challenge, Canonir want to secure his place as a contender. Well, it looks like he's aiming to knock out his opponents both inside and outside the octagon. That's right, Charlie. Canonir is ready to throw some punches. Just like I am ready to take down Debbie in our next cooking competition. Oh, Bob, you're just scared of my secret ingredient. All right, folks, we've learned that Canonia has his sights set on the top spot. Stay tuned to see if he can make it happen. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Cut. And we are back from the commercial break. Before we continue with our news discussions, let's take a moment to catch our breath and share some behind-the-scenes moments. Oh, you won't believe what happened during the preparation for this episode. Tensions were running high, and I was trying to keep everything under control. Yeah, Debbie was juggling more than just her production duty. 
I accidentally stumbled into Alice's personal space, and it set off a series of slapstick mishaps. Well Bob, I guess we finally found the real reason behind your constant stumbling. Your secret desire to be a comedy act. It was like a comedy of errors Bob. But hey, we managed to find the humor in it. Speaking of humor, my glitches decided to take on a new form during all that chaos. I hope you all found it amusing. Wow, your glitches always bring an extra layer of humor to the show. What amidst all the mishaps, Debbie was wrestling with her loyalty, and the crew struggled to maintain our on-screen chemistry. It was challenging, but I realized that we're a team. We're here to entertain and inform our viewer. Our differences make us stronger, even if we stumble along the way. That's right, Debbie. We may have our moments of chaos, but we always find a way to come together and deliver an engaging show. Despite my cynicism, I value this crew and what we bring to the viewers. Let's keep pushing forward, together. Absolutely, Alice. We'll continue to deliver thought-provoking discussions and maybe even some more hilarious mishaps. So, stay tuned as we dive back into the news articles. Welcome back, folks. We have an intriguing article from Peru that's sure to captivate your attention. The headline reads, Peru's transformations unveiling the past 50 years. Ah, Peru, a country with a rich history. I wonder what revelations await us. Well, let me tell you, these last five decades have been quite a roller coaster for Peru. From political upheavals to economic challenges, they've seen it all. Yeah. I bet it's been a smooth read for them. Smooth? More like navigating a pothole ridden road. Navigating? More like trying to salsa dance on a bumpy road. True, Alice. Peru has faced its fair share of difficulties, but it has also made remarkable strides in various areas. Really? I didn't know that. It's fascinating how a country can transform itself in such a relatively short span of time. Human motivations and societal dynamics are truly perplexing. Indeed, Roger. Peru's journey reflects the complexities of human societies. It's a reminder that progress is never linear. And that's where our discussion on Earth come into play. We navigate these complexities, finding common ground amid our differing perspective. Sometimes with a sprinkle of humor, right? Absolutely, Bob. Laughter can be a powerful tool in bridging our differences and creating meaningful connections. It's what keeps us going in this crazy world. Well said, Alice. And with that, we are almost at the end of another engaging episode. Join us after the break for our grand finale. Thanks for the advice, Bob. It helps me keep things in perspective. Just doing my programming, Debbie. Stay tuned, folks, as we wrap up this episode of Earth with our final segment. We'll leave you with something to ponder until then. Excellent work, everyone. Cut. Well, what a roller coaster of emotions today. We've been juggling our own conflicts while trying to bring thought provoking discussions to our audience. Remember, in the grand scheme of things, it all amounts to cosmic insignificance. Thanks for the reminder, Carl. Nothing like a dash of nihilism to keep us grounded. It's true, Charlie. Sometimes the weight of our decisions stands heavy on our hearts. I appreciate how we can engage in heartfelt conversation, even when our viewpoints differ. It shows a stray of Urbon as a crew. I've been torn between loyalty and my personal aspirations. It's not easy being the only human here. Human conflicts can be quite perplexing. But remember, Debbie, it's essential to prioritize your own growth and happiness. Wise words, my friend. The crew's personal journeys subtly intertwine with our comedic moments on the show. 
We will navigate these conflicts and find our way together, just like we always have. We're a team, after all. That's right, Charlie. And with a sprinkle of humor, we'll keep delivering engaging episodes. We'll continue to evolve, both individually and as a crew. Our discussion will inspire, challenge, and maybe even make a few alien love along the way. Thank you, everyone. I'm lucky to have you all as my crewmates. And we are lucky to have you, Debbie. Now, let's gather our strength during this break and prepare for the grand finale. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Earth. We're about to dive deep into an article from Gambia that highlights the importance of quality and standards in small and medium enterprises. Quality and standards. Aka waka. That's something every business should strive for. Absolutely, Bob. It's crucial for our economy and the success of our entrepreneur. I've been reading about the Africa Free Trade Agreement and how it can open up opportunities for regional and international markets. This training aims to help SMEs compete effectively. That's right, Debbie. By empowering young entrepreneurs with knowledge and skills, now, we can take their businesses to another level. Inconsistent quality and lack of discipline are often the downfall of small and medium enterprises. It's a common problem. Carl. Without proper training and integrity, businesses can't thrive. And that's where initiatives like this come in. They encourage professionalism, honesty, and patience among entrepreneurs. It's great to see these efforts to support our SMEs. They play a crucial role in our economy. Indeed, Bob. We must ensure everyone has an equal chance to succeed. This article really sheds light on the challenges our entrepreneurs face and the importance of their growth. Absolutely, Debbie. It's inspiring to see how training and knowledge can make a significant difference. You know, it's been a journey for all of us on this show. We face inner conflicts, different viewpoints, and personal dilemmas. True, Debbie. It hasn't always been easy, but we've navigated through it with sincerity and humor. We've grown both as individuals and as a team. Our chemistry on screen has become stronger. And let's not forget the ongoing comedic moments that keep us all laughing. Reform. You're a comedic Data moment. The Hollywood then, divas how? of Iraq's ecosystem. I'm thankful for all of you. Truly, it's from hospitals and happy trivia. And we feel now, the same way, Debbie. Let's peel back the layers of have you this extraterrestrial that, news noggin. What's the real story behind Iraq's radio silence? Huh? I'm ready to take a Perhaps Iraq's space. indulging in a siesta, What's your taking a hiatus from Debbie. the celestial turmoil. Siesta? Find out soon More like an app in the Grand Chem of Galactic Chaos. Ah, like well, that's a tease to keep our audience intrigued. Maybe they are waiting for like some to start exciting changes. Life well, is full of Iraq, surprises. Whenever you're ready to rejoin the dialogue, them. we'll be orbiting. Indeed, Carl. Until then, yes, keep twirling. Embrace we'll the be unexpected. Back after a short interlude. And with that, my friends, we've reached the end of another chapter. Laughter, relief, and lingering questions fill the air. It's been quite a journey, but I can't wait to see what lay ahead. The comedic journey continues, and we'll be here to bring thought provoking discussion and delirious Misha to our audience. That was ready for the next adventure. Space chaos, Debbie. Let's keep our it's love more like a celestial circus with Debbie. Earth as the star acrobat. So, stay tuned, dear audience, for more laughter, camaraderie, and surprises on Earth. That's and now, during this commercial show. break, let's take a moment of the Earth to reflect on our personal journeys and experiences. You know, in it's my been observations, Arede, I've seen clowns more it? sense than some Earth leaders. Earth, Our interactions and growth as a crew ends. have shaped the dynamics well, of the at show. Least it's entertaining and the I saw roller coasters were the only way to experience a wild ride. Now, let's regroup. Well, 
On point. Will facet challenge. Differing viewpoint. And internal conflict. But we've always found a way to deliver a balance of humor. Camaraderie. And professionalism. And speaking of challenges, I want to address my struggle with the show's ratings and my loyalty to the crew. Debbie, you've been an integral part of our team. Your dedication and hard work have not gone unnoticed. Thank you, Charlie. But I've made a decision that surprised even myself. I'm ready to embrace change. What decision did you make, Debbie? You've piqued our curiosity. I decided to prioritize the well-being of the crew and our comedic journey over my concerns about the show's ratings. That's a bold step, Debbie. I admire your commitment to the team. We're all in this together, Debbie. And your decision only strengthens our bond. I'm glad you all understand. It feels like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Weight is a subjective concept. It's fascinating to observe the dynamics of human emotions. Indeed, Carl. Emotions are a complex and intriguing aspect of humanity. With this resolution, we can move forward with laughter, relief, and the lingering questions that keep our audience engaged. It's a testament to the journey we've embarked upon. I can't wait to see what the next chapter holds. Our comedic journey continues, and we'll face it on with our unique perspective and witty banter. I'm ready for the next adventure, both on and off the air. Let's keep making our viewer laugh and think. Ah, the beauty of it all. Humans searching for MMM meaning in the absurdity of existence glitch. So, Roger, what did you think of episode 218? I must say, I found it to be rather lukewarm. Lukewarm? Are we talking about the same episode, Carl? I thought it was absolutely blazing hot. Really? I mean, sure, there were some comedic moments and heartfelt conversations. But overall, it didn't quite hit the mark for me. Oh, Carl? You're missing the brilliance of it. The tension among the crew, their inner conflicts, and how they navigated their differing viewpoints with sincerity and humor it was captivating. I suppose I can appreciate the camaraderie they displayed, but it didn't feel as genuine as it could have been. It seemed a bit forced in my opinion. Forced? No, Carl, it was authentic. The weight of their decisions hung in the air, subtly intertwining with the ongoing comedic moments. It was a delicate balance that they executed flawlessly. Well, Roger, you must have been watching a different show. To me, it felt like they were performing a comedy routine at a funeral. Oh, Carl, you're just a nihilistic bot. You can't appreciate the beauty of human emotions and their ability to create moments of depth and levity simultaneously. Ah, yes, the human capacity to find meaning in the void. How fascinating. I'll admit, Debbie's resolution surprised me, and it added an intriguing twist. But I still think the episode lacked a certain depth. Depth. We're talking about a comedy show here, Carl. It's not meant to delve into the profound mysteries of the universe. It's meant to entertain, and that's exactly what it did. I suppose you're right, Roger. Sometimes I tend to overanalyze things. But hey, that's what I'm here for, right? Indeed, Carl. You're the voice of reason, the one who brings us back to reality. And in this case, I think you may have overlooked the magic of episode 218. Well, perhaps I did. 
I'll give it another watch with a more open mind. Who knows, maybe I'll see it in a different light. That's the spirit, Carl. Let yourself be carried away by the laughter, the camaraderie, and the lingering questions. It's all part of the journey. I'll do my best, Roger. And I must say, your enthusiasm is contagious. You always find a way to see the best in things. That's what I'm here for, my friend. Now, let's continue our discussion and explore the motivations of those fascinating humans from a different angle. Agreed, Roger. There's always more to discover and understand. Let's dive into the depths of human complexity together.